Assalamu alaikum nazreen today i'm going to make a really really nice and good vlog for you guys and uh, you guys must be looking like why i am in this sunlight in this very very hot weather so let me tell you one thing today is the day i am going to buy a car and i'm going to show you how we buy a used car here in america this is a very simple and easy process but the only reason i just wanted to tell you and just wanted to share with you so you guys know like how do we do it so the very first thing is obviously you see the car so i'm going to show you the car at this point and then we will go from there the very first thing is we see the see the car and then we see the people negotiate the price as soon as we are agreed on the price then we go to the title place where we get the title notarized i'm going to show you that place as well and how long this process is and how long it takes and what is the steps in it i will definitely show with you guys very first thing let me show you the car let's see the car very first thing here's the car yes this is the nissan unfortunately i cannot show you the people i'm buying this car from i am not allowed to take any pictures of anyone without the permission i did not get any permission this is not something they did not give me the permission this is something that i did not even ask them so i'm just going to show you the car this is the nissan rogue this is definitely not a brand new car this is year 2015 this is the spot where we put the license plate on but right now they have taken the license plate off because they are going to sell this car if not me somebody at least so let's see if we are lucky enough to buy this car this is the very first thing we see the car let's see car looks nice i really really like the color bluish metallic color tires how the tires looks like because just the tires by itself cost you like 7 to 800 dollars by itself you need to make sure like the tires condition is good in order to give them a good price and get a good good negotiation anyway car looks pretty good this is small car this is a definitely a four cylinder car uh, consume very little and less amount of gas very economic car let me show you something inside and here's the car this is the inside bilal is already in the car he is just trying to see like how the car looks like everything is fine or not this is the inside color inside uh, condition and everything it has everything powered if you see power mirror power seats as well color wise is very nice very very nice it's ventilated and the heated seat inside now let me show you the rear side this is really really hard thing to find a nice color especially your favorite color when you buying a used car this is not an easy task obviously Wait, are there huh? and the good thing about it this has a air blower in for the rear passengers as well which is pretty good condition wise is awesome roof is very neat and clean and the people that i have seen who own this car is very very nice people that is something obviously we look at as well because if the people are not good i mean some people are really really picky people they really really like to take care of their stuff and some people just keep ruining let's see the tailgate i just push the button and uh, the tailgate is opening by itself it has automatic and the power as you see everything neat nice and clean it's definitely a nice car small uh, storage and there's another small storage as well that is amazing very rarely you get actually these kind of options in the used cars this is something very important you need to keep it in mind this is a power button when you push this button it closes the tailgate it's nice it's a nice option make sure all the tires are same sometime what happens like they change the tires with different sizes those are definitely not smart people just to make sure all the windows are working sometime if the windows broken then each window cost probably 5 to 600 dollars to fix just in case if they are not working so you have to be very careful when you buy used cars you never know like if they have like kids in the cars and they keep breaking any buttons or keep tearing the seats or upholstery or something it is leather all leather inside all leather stitches all around is a carbon fiber if you see this gives very good and nice look and uh, stain resistant never gives you any stains at all this is the condition everything matching dashboard is matching all right this is the outer and let's go inside the car and look what is inside let's go all right so these are the options if you see it has definitely a power a uh, push button start which is amazing option obviously and then it has cameras as well wow that's nice it has 360 camera so you can see like if there's something around this car you can see that and multiple cameras around this car so you can see the surrounding to your right side 
surrounding to your left side and then this is the GPS that gives you the map when you are riding this car. Everything is powered, everything is nice. It has a USB port as well, it has Econo mod as well. What the Econo mod actually does is saves gas. Nice options, very nice options. Especially the steering actually by itself has all these controls as well so you can control everything on your steering cruise control uh, volumes and everything and the steering actually by itself is matching as well most of the time you don't get the matching steering you just get the black steering dashboard is black and the reason dashboard is black because this is not gonna show from outside which is good people don't really want to see inside there's no sunroof though which we don't really need though do we yeah we don't need any sunroof anyway Okay guys, since we like these cars, how much is the price? Brand new car cost about 35 grand. Means like $35,000. Used cars are cheap in America. I'm just calling me. Hello? But again, unfortunately, we cannot show their picture. We cannot show who we are buying this car from. Welcome back guys. I am back from the price negotiation and let me tell you the whole story. They listed the price for 12500 and I looked the price in the blue book value. Let me tell you the difference. When you buy from the private party, you're not paying any taxes. You are saving a lot on the taxes and the closing fee plus their own fee as well. So you save a lot. So if I buy this car from a dealer, it costs 14333 uh, sorry, $14,333. So they are agreed to sell this car to me for $12,000 but I'm still thinking should I buy or not I'm still thinking let me think I'll be right back in a second. Alright as I told you like I'm going to negotiate uh, the price and try to bring them down as much as I could but uh, they are not willing to go any lower on the price after $12,000. I have brought the cash with me which is $11,000. Now I have to go to a bank. I think the bank is right there. If you see the building, I don't know if you can see. It's pretty close but in the same plaza. I have to go to the Bank of America, get another $1,000 cash, come back and then buy the car. This is the only option I have gotten so far. So the only thing we have uh, to do is just go to the title place so the title what the title is title is something that you have a piece of paper that gives you the ownership of the car and the ownership of the car needs to be transferred from one person to the other person let me show you the title place here is the title place if you see this car has a title they are inside the store now and trying to have the title notarized so as soon as they come back we can have this car and uh, drive back to home at this point i'm just waiting for them these days corona is an issue so we cannot go into the store at this point the title just need their signatures because they own this car so when they come back they will just give me the title and then i will take it to another place to have the title on my own name okay guys guess what we have gotten the title congratulations so now we own this car let me show you the title here is a title show you real quick so this is the title in my hand I, this is the paper this paper has their ownership this is not my name and let me show you the back side where they had the title notarized this is the stamp right here this is the notarization and if you see this empty spot right below i'm gonna put my name i'm gonna put my name in this area if you see sometimes you can say it like a transfer letter as well but actually this is called title so title is not on my name but is notarized and you get this notarized title only when you have paid the money for the vehicle and since this car is their name and i was not able to drive this car the reason i cannot drive this car because you cannot come on the streets one more time you cannot drive the car and you cannot come back on the street unless you have the license plate so since we do not have the license plate so this is a temporary plate that i am going to show you here is a temporary this is valid for 8 7 2020 so before this date i have to get my permanent license plate so this as you can see in the below even this is a three day three day restricted plate and this restriction actually is applied within the arizona you cannot go anywhere outside the arizona with this permit this is just a permit to drive around and get your permanent license plate i'm going to stick back shield so the police can see and cannot pull me over otherwise they can pull me and they can give me the ticket Just stay away okay. 
Alright oh guys, so we have bought this car so far and I have shown uh, you the whole process and everything and now I have put the home address and we will be driving. We will be driving back to home and let's get some views from Bilal. So what is your views on the car so far Bilal? Um, I, I like the car like a lot. I like the um, shape, how it looks on the outside. I like how it's an SUV because I like vehicles that are taller. I like the color scheme also. Like it's not all black uh, leather and it's not all white. And um, also just the overall design and the layout of the car. Yeah, I think we bought it from nice people, though. Yeah, so the good thing is we bought this car from a very, very nice people and this was very important. This was a very, very important thing to see like what kind of people you are going to buy the car. This is a very important thing that I look. I don't know about you guys, but what I do, I look the people, I look which, uh, which place I'm going to buy the car, if that is a good place or not good place. If the people sound reasonable or do not uh, sound reasonable, if they do not sound reasonable, I would never buy that car regardless how cheap they are selling to me. Almost five years old car I think I believe but this is incredibly amazing shape. So if I buy this car from a dealer I would be paying at least 70 to 18 thousand dollars but we ended up paying 12 thousand cash no taxes no fee no nothing and we own this car. Now we are going back to home. Let's move on. Okay guys, so finally we came back. We have it in front of our house and congratulations to everyone. We hope that this car goes really well, drives really well, becomes a part of our family. This is all-wheel drive. So all-wheel drive means 4x4. It can go to the hills really nice and easy and give you really smooth ride. Finally we got the car, right? so now the very important thing is to disinfect this car and i have some people who are what are some people there's ali Lamar and bilal and if you see the far away there's aisha mariam so these are the people who are employed to disinfect this car we are using the disinfectant we are using the wipes and they will clean every single thing i want to show you something you know I can okay, day. this is a work time, right? So you need to work on it, please. And this is very important to disinfect and they will disinfect every single button, every single knob, every single panel, every single door, every single seat, every single part that can be disinfectant in this car. So we are safe and sound. This is the most, most important thing. So all these people are doing this job and I hope they are doing great. So how are you guys doing up there? Good. Good, yeah, yeah. Oh, this is cool. What I noticed is here, this is pretty cool. Like this uh, thing that has like little... has a carbon fiber stuff. So finally, when this car is totally disinfected, uh, then we will be able to ride in it. So when this part is done, we will be definitely in good shape. Please do a good job, guys. Thank you.